yo, Mr. Callahan, your sewing machine is like, it's still here and we, we need the space, you know? Um, look, we've been asking for months. You just have to pick it up today or look, bro, we're going to sell it. This workshop is tiny cramped and we need that workspace back. Get by here this afternoon or it's out of here. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience this correspondence may cause as well as for any disturbance from our previous attempts to reach out. It has come to our attention that your sewing machine remains at our facility. We fully appreciate its importance and we understand that retrieving items can sometimes fall lower on one's priority list among myriad obligations. I need that. Yo, Mr. Callahan, your sewing machine is still here, bro, and we need the space. We've been asking and asking for months. You gotta pick it up today or we're gonna get rid of it. Our workshop is cramped, it's tiny, it's hot. We need that workspace, dude. Come by this afternoon or I'm selling it. It's gone, man. If right about now you're asking yourself, what the heck is going on? Give me just a second and I'll describe all of this to you. This whole video is really about talking to your computer. No, not, not like that. In a good way, like in a helpful way. I recently released a video about Super Whisper, a great application, in fact, you just saw me using it, that allows you to talk to your computer and it's transcribed into text for any part of your computer. You can use it with LLMs, sending email, just anything that you need to do. It's a fantastic application. I will link to that video in the description below, but there are some topics that I didn't quite touch on that are really important. A lot of you asked in the comments, is there a Windows version? Do I have to pay for it? Are there other options? And I wanted to cover some of those here. Still, I believe talking to your computer is the unlock. You really need to start doing this to see the real value you can get out of AI. I think these LLMs thrive on the extra context that you give when you're kind of stumbling around wondering what you're wanting or no, not quite that. I wanted something. All of that actually ends up creating a much stronger context for the LLM to be able to answer you where you stand. So it'll know the things that you are interested in or that you considered and stopped considering. Those kind of contextual hints are things that really I find are really important when I engage, especially in brainstorming or something like that. This video is gonna be about taking a look at Super Whisper for Windows, maybe, or some options in that space, as well as some options in the Mac space. So let's dive in and take a look at I guess, yelling at your computer. Okay, I wanna to talk to you very briefly about Super Whisper. Again, there's a full video that really goes into a lot of the depth of what Super Whisper can do, but it has a few magic tricks that I think that I look for in all of the other software that I'm presenting here. None of them seem to offer everything. In fact, the one superpower that I think Super Whisper has, I'll show you at the end. But first, let me show you their modes. So this is the idea of saying, not everything is just a direct transcript. It's not just what words you were saying as you were saying them. Some things will stop at that point. Others will take it a little step further and go to using some kind of model to then be able to formulate the output in some fashion. You saw this in the beginning where I had multiple different outputs. How you might do that is you might create a mode in here. Let's come and create one and use the 4.0 model and say, everything said an emoji. All right, and so now we have a mode for emoji. We'll use that in just a moment as we get to a couple of the other things they have. One of the things Super Whisper has is models that you can download and use them locally. So this is number two. The first one is the ability to format the output. The second one is the ability to run it local if you need to, or run it in the cloud if you need more power. Some of these run local only, and that's the only thing they ever do, which may be fine. Others only run in the cloud. Uh, a few of them allow for both, depending upon whether or not you're using AI. And that I think is very useful. The third one, and probably the most important one that I don't think anybody else that I know of is talking about, but as I use these a lot, this one becomes very important, which is history. So if we come back to this Mr. Callahan recording that I was doing at the beginning. Yo, Mr. Callahan, your sewing machine is still here, bro, and we need the space. Okay, so as you can see, the interesting thing, and this is the actual superpower, is this is the actual video or audio file that was created. I can go find this audio file on disk. I can do something else with it. Really what's important to me is it has the source that I captured. Many times I will be talking for many minutes as I'm taking personal notes, log entries, things like that, that get longer and longer. The more that I use voice, 
the more I use it. And I don't want to get into a place, and uh, some of these other tools in my testing have done this, I don't want to get to a place to where halfway through, something goes wrong and something stops, and I don't have anything that I just said, because sometimes that can be very important information that you lose. So to me, being able to get back to the source file here is really important, and they have the actual information that was said here. So this is actually the full translation, if you will, or full transcript that occurred. And then AI, when it returned, looks like this. And the neat little trick that it can do is we can process this again. And whoops, let me change to our emoji only and then reprocess this guy. And so this is what comes back with our emoji only translation of that message that I sent. That was the mode that we just created. So that's the last time I'm gonna talk about Super Whisper. It's a lot, but it's a really important set of tools that it offers. And you don't have to use Super Whisper, but knowing that these kinds of options are things that you can look for for the software that you're implementing down the road, this becomes really important to me. If I didn't use the right mode when I recorded it and it transcribed it the first time, some systems don't allow you to retranscribe. There is no source file for it to go back to and start over with. So to me, this is kind of a critical aspect, but we'll take a look at these tools and see what they have. Okay, the first tool that I'm gonna cover, hey, we're done. <laughs> Super Whisper is in beta for Windows. Go by, check out Super Whisper for Windows. They're trying to get out there. They've been trying for a while. This is big news. This is a really big deal. Go out there and sign up for the beta. Maybe you can be a tester. I don't have a Windows machine, so I can't directly test this out, but I think that you'll be happy with what they're doing. And please give me some feedback, give me some comments, tell me whether or not they're doing well, and I'll put another one together, maybe specifically for this or when they do a full release of it, when it hits general availability. So I just wanted to point out Super Whisper itself, this whole video is about other tools that are similar to these tools, but the reality is most of the people are asking, is Super Whisper on Windows also? Answer is yes, go take a look. Okay, the next app is called Whisperflow. Whisperflow is really, frankly, a very good application. There are some AI integrations with it. It's for Mac and for Windows. It has this resident bar that you might be able to see here at the bottom of my window. If I click on it, then it starts listening to me. If I click off of it, then it puts it onto my clipboard. I will show you that by showing me, showing you a clipboard that I have. This is a clipboard viewer that just shows what my active clipboard looks like. And these are the different active things that I've recently done. Let's say, hello, Whisperflow, how good are you at this? Hello, Whisperflow, how good are you at this? Okay, so that's an example. You can see that its transcription is not fantastic. Both of these have, so Whisperflow, how are you good? How good are you at this? And, but Whisperflow, how good are you at this? I don't think that the model that's transcribing this is as strong. If you right click on this disclosure, they have a hotkey that you can kick it off with. It's really a very elegant implementation into the operating system. Um, you can change the microphone that you're using, select different languages, but they also have the transcript history. So now we can look at the different transcript histories and I can come in here and retry this transcript. So that's one of those things that I was talking about with Super Whisper is the ability to retry. They also, by the way, have download audio, which is great. So this concept of they have the original audio file is somewhere. This is another, to me, really important feature eventually. Um, they also have other mechanisms in here that say that they use AI to uh, manage the, the translations and be able to hone them. I think that's mostly under this, the pro model here is where you start getting access to the AI features. But at the same time, I will say this is uh, at a monthly rate, $15 a month. So almost double what Super Whisper is, not quite. And that's a lot, frankly, that's a heck of a lot. This is an unlock. I think this is a really important feature, but I'm not sure it's $15 a month important. So I think that they need to kind of figure that out. That, that to me is a little bit of a weakness. I will say they give you 2000 words per week. That's not that many, but it might be enough to kick the tires and give it a shot. It might be enough for your use in general. So I would say give Whisperflow a shot and see what you think of it. Upgrading to Pro, a little expensive, but if you really like it, then it's here and it's a really simple program. 
All right, the next one is called Aqua Voice. Uh, full disclosure, the developers reached out to me with this one just saying, have you heard of our application? They did that in the YouTube comments. You can go see that conversation there. And I did try their application out because of that. I have not, of course, taken any money for that or anything like that. But at the same time, I reached out to them with some of my thoughts and they've been very responsive. This is very, very similar to the one we were just looking at, which is Whisperflow. Aqua Voice is, you can go to withaqua.com, I believe is how you get there. There. Yeah, with aqua.com will get you there and you can just download it. You'll see one of the things that they're mentioning here is they have much lower latency than something like Whisperflow, which we were just looking at. So theoretically much faster times. Um, I will show it here. So this is me using Aqua Voice, and I think it's a very similar and also fantastic implementation of the same kind of tool set that Whisperflow offers. All right, so you can kind of see the response time in that. I found this to be a little bit slower, but I had a pretty slow ping time when I was previously testing it. Your mileage may vary, but it is a really wonderful client, frankly. It's pretty elegantly put together. Again, down here, we can right click and be able to change modes and things like that here, which I wish that something like Super Whisper had. It's in fact one of the things that Super Whisper is, is missing. But if we come into this and look at the settings themselves, once you go pro, once you uh, basically subscribe, you'll have the ability here to be able to put in instructions. I don't exactly know what this looks like. I have not subscribed to this one, but it does feel like a single instruction set that you'll be able to integrate with the AI. I think uh, Whisperflow, the previous application, probably does the same thing, and they do have have a history as well. So this is the historical information. Uh, you can undo or redo the AI here. It's the one thing you can do. You can copy it, rate it, and delete it, but you can't get to the source information in any way, and you can't kind of rerun it. This is one of the products that I had fail on me halfway through one of my transcriptions, and I lost everything, which was multiple minutes of conversation that I was having. So those kinds of things are a little bit frustrating. Let's talk about pricing on them. They are very similar, but cheaper than Whisperflow. And so they're $8 a month if you're annual, and they're basically $10 a month if you go monthly. So $10 a month is reaching up there a little bit. That's that's getting to an edge of how comfortable I am. They only have one set of models, uh, something like Super Whisper at a cheaper monthly price that has multiple models that you can choose from, some that are downloadable and local. There's just so many more options for a cheaper price point than this one that it's very difficult to say if you have the option for both, this is the better one. But I will say it's a more elegant experience. So there is something to that. And Frankly, great work on the sound effects. I think your sound effects are, are great, guys. Okay, and the last one that I wanted to talk about, Whisper Typing. So Whisper Typing is a for Windows only application, which is interesting. And one of the things that's interesting about this one is they have a lot of different actions that they're taking on that are not just transcription. So very much like the others, it has this ability to press a key and it'll do the transcription as we've been seeing. It can do different modes depending upon what you ask for, what you need. Um, and if you scroll down in here, you'll see it has a listening mechanism. It has AI that you can ask some questions of the AI itself directly, but also it has writing mode, write an answer to this message, ask a question, answer the question, and these are actually keywords for it. Um, rewrite mode, you can select things on the screen and then invoke it. It will read the highlighted material or whatever selected. They also have a, several examples where they highlight something on a web page, they copy it onto their clipboard, and then they'll say things like, write an answer to the email thread in your clipboard. So that's one of the ways that they're pulling everything in. So they may be taking one step away from integrations when you sometimes have to paste what you're trying to do over into an AI and then ask the question. That would be a two-part Part thing that I do today. I go to the web page, I highlight it, I copy it, I go back open to ChatGPT and paste it in there, and then I open up Super Whisper or something like that, start asking my question, and then I hit enter. All of that's happening while you're still on that web page, and it pulls open as 
a second window. It's a little resident window over the top window that all of the responses come up in, which is kind of interesting. And you can see it can also run actual commands. Uh, that's kind of an interesting aspect. I think we're getting closer and closer to these tools becoming real computer use kind of integration points. But I found this one very interesting. You can go find it at Whisper Typing. Uh, that one's not a bad one, a bad looking one, but I'd say just from a transcription standpoint, when you're just trying to get voice in, I don't think it's a little bit overkill for just doing your transcription, but if you're interested, now you know. Okay, I know this was just a quick fly through of all of the different utilities that I could find that seemed to be meaningful to talk about how you might be able to get speech to text into AI. Now, again, let me say it very clearly, use speech if you can. If you have an opportunity, give it a shot. You don't have to use it all the time and don't use it just for a very quick question because that doesn't really show you the value. When you have that moment and you're not even sure what question you're trying to ask the AI, but you have a thought or you want to brainstorm with it or something like that, and you don't really want it talking back. These things all have voice agents that you could have them talk back to you but very often I don't want the thing to talk back to me. I want to be able to kind of skim through the answer that it gives me more often than listen and wait and listen and wait. So there's a lot of moments where I can kind of go on talking like this, take all of this information and then drop it in. In fact, an example is I will take these entire proceedings from these videos very often and transcribe them with Super Whisper and then put them into an AI. Hey, I got an idea. Let's give that a shot. Okay, so now that we have the movie rendered out, I can right click on it and open it with Super Whisper, which is great. Drag it onto Super Whisper. A lot of ways to do this in Super Whisper menu. You actually have a way to open a file and transcribe a file. It's the same thing. So if I do that, it opens up Super Whisper here. It takes this video file or an audio file or whatever you might have and starts the transcription of it. You'll see that it's going a little bit slowly compared to others. So we'll race ahead here. What it's done is put it on the clipboard. Had I been in a text field, it would have pasted it into that text field also. But if I come over to ChatGPT or something like that, I will paste it in and say, do me a favor and take this transcript from a video that I just created and give me a summary, a very, very short summary of the video itself, but also give me like bullet points of the most important topics that I covered, the things that I thought were most important, and maybe a list, a numbered list of the applications that I talked about. Yep. And there you go. Okay, so that's what it's like using Super Whisper. It's one of the reasons I like Super Whisper that it has more than just spoken text or spoken into text kind of scenarios that it's, it's good at doing. Your mileage may vary, but it, hey, if I haven't told you again, Super Whisper for Windows is in beta. Go get the beta, go sign up. It's fantastic. They do have some free modeling behind it. So really worth taking a look at it. I hope any of these helped. I hope something here kind of caught your eye. Thanks for coming along for this one, and I'll see you in the next one.